Morning. Morning, sir. I'm PC Evans, and this is PC Roberts. Right. What have we got? Murder with a sexual motive. I'm afraid it's a bit of a mess, sir. The victim? Um, Alison Marsh. She was 19, college student, popular, pretty, well, she had it all going for her, really. How do you know she was popular? Well, uh, I just assume so. Well, I don't assume. Assumptions are the mothers of all fuck-ups. Have we got any leads? Forensics are working on it, but from our point of view, nothing. No blood? Not a single wound. Right, how did she die? Strangled to death, sir. Whoever did this knew exactly what he was doing. He left nothing to chance. No evidence, no witnesses. I mean, unless forensics turn up something pretty big, well, we've got a hell of a job on our hands. Right, let's get going then. I want to know what this girl was doing yesterday, from the moment she went to bed until she was last seen. I want every detail of this girl's life on my desk by tomorrow morning. Sure. Right? Thank you. I know this is hard for you, Mark. But if you want justice for your girlfriend, then your help will be very much appreciated. I don't know how I'm going to be of much help, but I'll do my best, Detective. Why don't we just start with a few simple questions? It's really standard procedure. Where were you yesterday between 2 and 3 p.m.? What? You're accusing me of this shit? You think that I killed Alison? Did you? Fuck you, you ignorant pig! Well, if you could rid me of that ignorance, that would be great. So I ask you again. Where were you yesterday between 2 and 3 p.m.? I don't know. Well, I suggest you start thinking then. Work. I was at work. And where do you work? I'm a mechanic. 01432-886-491. That's my boss's number. Ring him. Well, I need confirmation that Mark Salford was at work yesterday between 2 and 3 p.m. Right. Right. So what happens now? You ring my boss, he confirms that I was at work, and I'm free to go? Something like that. Look, Mark, you need to understand that in cases of this nature, it's normal for the boyfriend to be interviewed first. Think about it. You either give us a lot of good information that we couldn't get from any other source, or you turn out to be the prime suspect, in which case we have cut straight to the chase. Excuse me. Uh, his line, his boss said that it wasn't at work between two and three. Thank you. No worries. So, turns out you've been lying to me. What? Your boss has just told us that yesterday you left work didn't return until three. Oh, shit. I forgot. That's when I took my lunch break. Right. I met up with a few friends down the pub. Okay, Mark. Names. John Slade. Yep. Josh Brown. Yep. And Andrew Martins. And you're absolutely sure these guys can vouch for you? Yes, 100%. Okay. Have you noticed anything unusual over the last couple of days? Anybody threatening Alison, hitting on her, jealous ex-boyfriends, that sort of thing? No. No? Oh. We went out last Saturday. Mm -hmm. And there was this guy. He kept staring at her kind of creepy. And when I went to the bar, he was there, eyeing her up. Okay, did he say anything? 
well, I kind of, you know, asked him if he had a problem or something, and he said no. I just like popular girls, then left. Popular. Um, Alison Marsh, she's 19, college student, popular. Popular. Yeah. Hot. He looked like a right wanker. How do you know she was popular? Well, I just assumed so. Well, don't assume. What exactly did he look like? He was around 5'10. Short dark hair. Medium to a large build. Whoever did this knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> 